for cattle producers looking for ample amounts of forage, small grains and cover crops may be the best option. Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh spoke with Nebraska Extension educator Todd Whitney to learn more about these grazing opportunities. For producers looking for grazing opportunities, small grains and cover crops are a great option. Whether looking to graze out or continuing grazing, watching the height of the plants and the weather will tell you how long you'll be able to leave the cows in the field. We usually say wait until the plants are about 6 to 12 inches tall and then uh, graze it down to where it's uh, not less than four inches. So then you keep moving them so it gives a chance for regrowth and continuing to graze. A lot of the small grains uh, are cool season grasses. And so as soon as we start getting hot is when they start backing off in their production. But we usually say if you are uh, willing to rotational graze and not graze it hard, it can last clear till the mid part of June and probably still have pretty good production off of these, these plants. It's important to not overgraze your fields. Todd says there are a few different ways to go about this. Have an area where you're keeping it ungrazed and kind of see how the height of those plants are and, and the development of those. Um, you can have a system where you are um, rotational grazing, where you have paddocks, where it may be used an electric fence to only allow them to be in one part of the field at a time and keep moving that electric fence and then uh, allow them to come back around and come on grazing again. Um, they'll generally like to go to the lusher uh, grasses. So um, if you have a system where you just keep letting them have a little bit more, that'll help uh, regrowth happen in some of the other areas. Um, also, you can adjust where you have your water located and they may want to come up and, and use that. And so if you can rotate where you have that located, that can also encourage them to graze into some of the areas that maybe they haven't been grazing in. And you're just trying to monitor the cattle and, and try to get a uniformity to what they're doing. Producers wanting to graze wheat and rye for dual purpose should make sure they don't wait too long past the joining stage to start. And so if we continue to graze while we have jointing happening, they could be actually eating off some of those immature heads. And so there are secondary tillers that are two weeks behind the primary, but if they're wanting to go to grain, we usually say pull them off before we get into the joining stage or what we call the hollow stem. If they're wanting to keep it as a grazing um, field, then the idea is to try to uh, not graze it all the way down, to leave at least four to, to six, eight inches, and then allow that regrowth to happen, and then come back again and try to maintain that six to 12 inches. Lastly, Todd says anything producers can do to extend the grazing in pastures will help their other pastures grow and gain tonnage before cattle are introduced. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh.